Hundreds of local students coming together at Siena College today to discuss ways to fight prejudice and hate. Yeah, the uh, STOP conference coming ahead of a Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. Organizers also hoping though to keep the memory of another civil rights leader alive as well. Our Zaya Dakota has a story. A man kept at the background of the civil rights movement brought to the forefront for students today seeking to model their own activism after him. Bayard Rustin was heavily involved in civil rights. First, from his refusal to give up his seat on a segregated bus a decade before Rosa Parks, and then as the organizer of the March on Washington. Sarah Wasserman, a community organizer at the Baird Rustin Center for Social Justice, says even though he was kept in the background of the civil rights movement because he was openly gay, the impact of his activism remains. So there are many different examples of how he brought nonviolence to the movement, about how he was inspired by Gandhi. Um, how he really used his body as a form of protest and used his mind to help others coalesce around that idea. Now she and other educators at the Students Together Opposing Prejudice or STOP conference held at Siena College hosted hundreds of students from 15 area schools. It's part of the ongoing No Place for Hate program. A program important for event MC Chanel Henry who also wants to inspire students to be what they call angelic troublemakers people breaking systemic rules to fight oppression in their own communities. It may sound like, and I know for me at times it feels like a daunting task, I'm but one person, right? But Bayard Rustin was one person, Martin Luther King was one person. For 15-year-old Joseph Smith, activism, even without recognition, is just as meaningful. But you have to make sure that it, you, it's coming from your heart. Because I could do whatever I want, but if it doesn't come from my heart, it's in vain. And it's not just Joseph. Other students say Rustin has inspired them to go out and effect change. Now I feel like there is a whole nother level of respect for someone who I didn't even know existed but has contributed so much to activism and civil rights. He is going to help me when it comes to standing for what I believe is right. Wasserman says there's still more work to be done with bringing unsung heroes into the limelight. There are so many communities and, way, and ways in which people are not recognized. I think it's going to take a really big fight. In Loudonville, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.